Okay. As young adults live in an era where we love to share moments our, of our own lives with Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, we are constantly in a world where we see our peers. Um, these posts are mostly about living a good life, be it athletic, artistic, or social. To go on and browse such posts is almost like seeing an utopia, one where everyone is perfect. However, I know that this is not the case. I know because I can see my own troubles, I can feel my own pains. And this leads me to believe that I am the only imperfect in this world of perfection. To deal with me being the odd one out, I seek to hide my mistakes and to gain what others are sharing. I become jealous and it devours me on the inside. To quote Shakespeare, it is the green-eyed monster that doth mock the meat which it feeds on. My jealousy leads me to crave that which I lack. If I see a friend posting about something, I would want that something. But this creates a chasm between what I want and what I need. When I first moved into my sophomore year, I was faced with a much more difficult level of French. The beginning months were extremely hard. I could not understand what was being spoken in the classroom. Consequently, my performance in that class deteriorated rapidly. It was a heartbreaking experience to go from having an A plus to nearly failing in that class. I could not bring myself to concentrate. All that I felt in class is a deep emptiness within. I, could, I felt morbid despair every time I tried to learn French. I could not feel happiness like before. This sadness was further exacerbated by me talking with my friends. They were working with surgical precision, getting near perfect grades. I was jealous. Before, I would love to share what I've seen to have a good laugh, but now I'm listening to a constant white noise whenever we talk. I'm constantly reminded that they are what I aspire to be, and that in spite of all that I've tried, I'm still so far below them. I decided that they were trying too hard at school. My friends offered to help, but I rejected them. I believed that they were merely finding joy in my failure. I distanced myself from them and found sanctuary in video games I would play for hours on end. French was always a dark monster lurking in the back of my mind, but now without the solid barrier of my friends, the monster threatens to crush me. The end of the quarter was approaching fast. I realized that I was backed up against a wall. There is nowhere I can run now. Looking at the course materials reminded me of my sufferings. However, I had to. I forced myself to read. Surprisingly, it was much easier than I thought. All I had to do was to memorize the verb forms. After a few intense nights of studying, I began to see improvement. It was shock, and with this giant burden off my shoulders, I was able to cut through the mist that had blinded me. I, it was a shocking realization that it was I who was mistaken all along, for I was the one to use my friends as the scapegoat for my mistakes. Now seeing the world through a new lens, I came to understand that we run away from what scares us, we try and to cover up the fact that we have failed. The action of pushing something to the back of our mind has become so ingrained in us that we do it without much hesitation. This prevents us from moving forward. I believe that we ought to fear not of our mistakes, but of staying still. Just like how a doctor needs to open up a wound to clean it, we need to be brave enough to tear open what has caused us the greatest pain. To truly go beyond a problem, we need to find the source first. I was jealous of my friends. I transferred my anger and my own inability in French over to them for trying too hard at school. I distanced myself from the very people I needed. I did this precisely because I'm unwilling to reach deep within myself to tackle the real problem. I see many around me who struggle because they fear to take responsibility for their own actions. Therefore, they attribute the unpleasantries to bad luck or just being dumb. Perhaps this could be a moment of truth, that we are far more in control of our own lives than we think. We cannot hide from our mistakes, nor should we. Instead, we should charge straight into it and embrace the pain that comes with it. Then, and only then, can we grow. Thank you.